Welcome back for another tutorial. We're going to build a beat in GarageBand using loops. Now we'll be using some samples from our hip hop producer pack 8, uh, which definitely has an R&B vibe to it. And I'll pull up my product folder here. So here's hip hop producer pack 8, and I have my wave files expanded. And we'll go ahead and play around with some of the samples from this first loop set and get a nice track going. Now if you ever want to get a good gist of what's in a particular loop set or sample pack, um, always go for the example mix variations. Let's start with an intro that segues into a hook. So I really like those two electric piano samples. I'm going to do a bit of moving around. That should make it easier. Perfect. So we'll drop this in as well as the second one. And we'll have a four bar intro that jumps into our hook. So now we can add a drum loop on our chorus part. And we'll want to duplicate that. So I'll just click Apple C, Apple V. Good. Now we can drop in some strings. And uh, touch a bass. We use bass one for our first four bars. And then bass two for our second four bars. Since a hook is typically eight bars long. Now we can throw in some lead synth. And we'll drop in some guitar as well. So we want to copy these other elements and then paste them over. That'll give us an eight bar hook. Okay, so we need to do some mixing to really kind of tighten this up. I'll just click on my loop function, then I can start to get these levels right. Good. Now we can start to move on to our verse. Here we want to simplify things so we leave plenty of room for our vocals to shine through. So we'll go ahead and throw in some drums. And then we'll take some bass and sprinkle in a touch of piano. Now I need to go ahead and duplicate my drum loop. So I'll hit Apple C. Set up my play marker, hit Apple V. Let's take a listen to this. Good. So we're starting to get there. Now we'll want to go ahead and duplicate this uh, to about 12 or 16 bars. That's what a typical verse is in hip-hop and R&B. 
So I'll just copy them over. Hit Apple C, hit Apple V, and then we'll do it one more time. Uh, but for this last four bars, we want to put a different bass variation in there just to get a change up going back into our hook. I can copy these, Apple C, Apple V, and we'll put a little drop in our drum loop section just to kind of create a transition from verse to hook. Now we could copy this verse and hook over another time, throw an outro on it, and we're good to go. So this has been a look at how to create a beat using loops in GarageBand. Be sure to visit us at PlatinumLoops.com.